Weeks after someone shot and killed a four-year-old boy in Altadena, no suspect has been caught. Today, detectives and victims' families' members are appealing for help. KCAL 9's Dave Lopez live in Altadena with the family's plea and the reward being offered in this case. Dave? Right across the street from where it happened, as you mentioned, it was July the 5th, not quite two months ago, and now the county is putting up a $20,000 reward, hoping that will make someone talk. It happened right across the street on the porch. Little boy, Salvador Esparza, they call him Chiquito. He was four years of age. It was 10:30 at night. He was standing on the porch, and next to him was a 27-year-old man who the sheriff detectives have described as a known gang member. He, that man, was in a feud earlier that day, and then someone from that gang went looking for him, found him on the porch and open fire. He was hit, but so was the little boy. And now we hear a tearful plea from the boy's mother, grandmother, first the mother. Please, please, please don't be scared to talk. Please just talk to the detectives, talk to somebody about it. Um, I really want justice for my son. I can't understand how these cowards that started this whole thing, including the cowards that killed my baby can still be out there sleeping going out on the street, walking while we're here mourning the loss of my baby. I feel so lost without him. I just, please, if anybody knows anything, just please, please, please speak up. And they're hoping $20,000 will make someone speak up. This is a little Chiquito as he looked, a little playful, little typical four year old boy who was described as a little rambunctious boy who loved life. It happened at 10 30 at night again on July 5th. And the way detectives describe it, a 27 year old man, an acquaintance of the family. Now, someone said that he was a co worker of the boy's father. He just happened to stop by that night. A rival gang member was looking for him. They opened fire. They got away on foot, jumped into a car, and one of the bullets went right through the head of that little four-year-old boy. I asked the uh, detective in charge of this investigation if anyone is helping, even if the, even the man who was shot. Apparently he did, yeah. He knew some people who were living here and stopped by to visit. So knowing that, he doesn't know who we got in the altercation with down the street. He hasn't given you a name? We know it not yet. He has not. For fear or because he just doesn't know? Uh, well, for his own reasons, apparently, he's saying he doesn't know. You believe him? Do I believe him? Uh, I think he knows more than he's probably telling us. And that's what's frustrating. This is the 27 year old man who was shot. Detectives say that they cannot charge him with any crime of uh, obstruction of justice because, in, this, in law, if you are a victim of a crime or shot, you do not have to cooperate if you don't want to. And apparently, right now, he is not. The other frustrating item is detectives say they know there are people in the neighborhood that night. There were a lot of people out there. It was just after the 4th of July holiday, and they know they saw something, but no one has come forward. Now, the question is will $20,000 make someone talk? And remember, we're talking about a four-year-old boy who was killed here. Back to you in the studio. Yeah.